Why, hello, it's Eddie Lemoyne, and welcome to the safety section of my website. Now, when I do a safety presentation, it's always around the culture of safety or, or safety as it, as it pertains to employee engagement within an organization. And I always like to start with this particular slide because in the average time that it takes me to deliver a keynote presentation to an organization, or that you might have a normal one hour meeting within your environment, about 3,600 workers die globally. And many times they didn't die because they didn't understand the proper procedures or that there wasn't a safety plan in sight. For many times it happens because there wasn't the right safety culture within an environment so that people don't take the risk that they otherwise shouldn't do. Now, when we look at a safety culture within, a, within an organization, it means that collection of values. Or, uh, and, and that goes across the leaders in an organization, the frontline staff, but anyone who might walk on the job site. It could be subcontractors or suppliers. Now, there's a bit of a process to get to that safety culture. We look at the commitment that an organization has to safety, the team approach to safety, and, and that really comes down to how do we engage people within an organization to want to participate, and that could be a journey to safety. You know, for some organizations, they could be on a, a journey to generative, where they're really going from that pathological approach to safety to something where, where there's a, almost an uneasy feeling within an organization that something might happen and people are actually rewarded for bringing forward near misses. Then we look at how we communicate that effectively through the organization, that we have this commitment to procedures, and that safety becomes part of a lifelong learning process within an organization. We talk about the number one health-related issue at work, and I'd have to say that that's the same issue that we're seeing outside of work, and that's lack of focus or lack of paying attention, and we go pretty deep into that topic. We look at the fact that safety has to be a 24-hour a day, seven day a week thing, because if an employee doesn't show up for work tomorrow, whether the injury was inside or outside of work, it still has the same impact. The employee still didn't show up for work, still impacts his family and his fellow workers at work. One of the other things we like to dig kind of deep into is, why do we need that safety culture? Why is there, some people have this high tolerance for risk and other people don't, and how safety culture tends to neutralize that so the tolerance for risk is about the same across the organization. The commitment to safety that employees have inside of work and their ability to focus their attention on the outcome, the goal that they're trying to, to achieve, and the impact that engagement has on safety as well. And there's some really interesting statistics around that. Our ability to communicate that message throughout the organization, and the importance of effective, effective communication now as probably more important than ever.